what to do leo here overlord season 4 episode 10 previously we finally met well he's actually right here this guy i'm you know saying that he's probably a player it, he's, he kind of doesn't fit anything that we've met in the past before but it's super interesting how he saved those oracalcum if i remember adventures and uh he's a uh, I'm guessing I'm guessing a player probably similar to momon where he's like a player but he's of course going to be the highest of them so an adamantite and uh yeah let's just jump into it i want to find out if it's actually a player or not i want to find out if we're gonna do the karen stick plan if we're gonna see more stomping from season three of the empire the reestes kingdom and all of the above so sit back relax let's get into it oops Ooh. right that's what i'm saying probably would it be possible <laughs> just as expect i knew it all along <laughs> oh and they buy it of course they buy it demiurge will buy it if demiurge will buy it he will buy it <laughs> you nailed it. <laughs> you you nailed it. <laughs> oh no, he actually does believe. <laughs> the gosh dang it. He actually do. <laughs> He's from the Drop of Red, one of the three adamantite teams in the kingdom. All right, so the three one one is the ones we met from season two and three which are oh gosh i remember forgot her name already but it's the big lady that wanted to met to freak with climb the two ninja girls and the red hair the red girl with the mask who is in love with momon sorry i forgot their names but that's one group another group is of course gundam fighter over here and then there's i guess another group that we have yet to meet <laughs> exactly no not at all i don't believe he saw that coming <laughs> no <laughs> so now we take them out or we try to get them on our side what's the what's the game plan hey you can't you would you have a promise yeah there you go there you go. <laughs> yeah you gotta let some of them live the children There's got to be a future. <laughs> yeah, just a chance. Like some of them. Oh, here we go. Here's the real end game. Just her. I just kind of skipped the ending, even though it's great, but it's already been in my playlist, so it's been playing constantly. <laughs> all good, all good. Renner's been backstabbing him, right? I didn't misinterpret that. She's, she's with Nazareth. So she knows exactly what's going to happen and what's happening right now, including the conqueror. I'm guessing she understands the north is being conquered, if not conquered already. And all around Reistes. Oh, it seems like he knows. Those are the area. The X's in the map is the areas where they were invaded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Ooh. Maybe you have someone that defected to the other side and they never told you. Yeah. Raven? Raven betrayed you? The Raven that was by your side? Well, he hasn't showed up in this whole season, so it does make sense. Son was taken hostage. Oh my gosh. Wow. If this is true, what a play. Probably Renner's uh, play too. Yeah, at this point, I agree. You just, you just got to go down. I would try a surrender plea. I would try a vassal state flea. But knowing what we know with the card and stick plan, he doesn't, they don't, the Nazarick will not care. They will use you as a example to crush you down. It's, it's simply, gosh. Damn, and you're going to the front lines? Wow. He knows he's going to die in this, yet he goes to the front lines to improve morale, to make sure his men don't flee, or, you know, get scared, or, or get annoyed at the fact that the man in the front, the man that is king, is in the very back, in the tent. No, he's at the front. You know, from the second season and third season, I didn't really have much of an impression of this to be prince, but to be king prince. But in fact, he's pretty good. He's he's growing on me a bit. I hope he doesn't actually die. The drop of red and blue rose. Oh, all the Adam and Tide Adventures are, are are meeting up. Why? In what way? Does he make people grimace? What? Damn, look at that. Is that an 8-pack? No, that's a 3-7. Gosh, dang. Oh, I see. He's just a straight-up womanizer, womanizer. Oh, gosh. Rough. He's a hero by reputation. I don't mean he's the the, the he doesn't mean he's the the pillar of uh um, the pillar of morality, especially in a world like this. No, I wouldn't expect it. Yo, holler back to the um, charm species where um, Shaltier was able to to charm a whole species of people. Compared to Evil Eye, who does one. <laughs> Crazy. Whoa, what in the... He looks familiar. Why does he look familiar? Who is that guy? Whoa. Damn. Which faction do you fall under? Which Adamantite Adventures are you?
Oh, I remember. I remember. She kind of, he kind of looks like Clementine. <laughs> That's why he looks familiar. He kind of looks like Clementine. That's the only reason. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Scout you? What does that mean? We're gonna fight? Uh, is it like a spec ops? The theocracy? Plain theocracy? Oh, I see. So these are the people that are trying to put up a fight against the Berserker Kingdom? Huh. Okay. Okay. Please say no. Please say no. Just say no. I don't want you guys to end up with Uranus, man. Uranus or with... Uh, not Buka Buka, but Chagama. Who's the one? Who is the cockroach? Who feeds his family? Yes. Please say no. Please say no. Thank goodness. And y'all should know the difference in strength is just way too much. You fought Yaldabaoth, which was Demiurge. They would, they would definitely know the difference in strength. No. <laughs> yeah, I think he's realistic too. I see. Oh gosh, this guy is, is actually... Oh Jesus. Okay. Oh, cool guy. <laughs> he's, he's... I see why um, Lacius didn't want to introduce her friends to him. That man is wild. And here we go. This gives me very, very, very weird memories of the third season stomp, stomp, stomp. Oh. Whoa. You're wide open, my guy. You want to talk with him one on one? Prince, you are ballsy. I respect it. I respect it. Jeez, Albedo. <laughs> what the? F at least follow the courtesy. Talk to him, at least. Explain to him how we are basically using you for a stomping ground. Yeah, it's not like you're in immediate danger. You're not. It's Riesti's kingdom. He's on a flaming horse. He's wearing, I just realized, he's wearing the same armor as Stronoff. He, he set up a pillar. <laughs> he set up two chairs and a table. <laughs> what? Oh, they even tried to surrender. They just didn't accept it. Okay. Wow. No merit.
Oh, wow. Someone to challenge him on his views. Whoa. Happiness. You would do the same if it were in the opposite foot, though, Prince. If we're being honest here, we would do the we would do the exact same thing. Yeah, it's very. Super selfish, but it's so true. There was probably another way. There definitely probably is another way. Dang. I love that he has to be like in constant edge when he's talking to Ions to make sure not to offend him. <laughs> uh. Dang. It is what it is. Is a brain here? Brain and climb? Whoa, oh, smell. Oh, gosh. When you know you're going out and there's little to no chance, you could only accept, you could only hope for mercy in terms of how you die. Gosh. You know what, Prince? I mess with you, Prince. I, I respect you. This might be your final day. This might be your final episode, in fact. However, you know, you did a good job. You did the best you could. You were probably the be you were probably the best king if the kingdom stayed alive. <laughs> I'll give you that much. I will give you that much. See even Ainz sees it like this man has real cojones. He has the real chimichangas. He has big boo 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 doo. He has the guts. He had the guts to stand face to face with a man who embodies death. No. What? My guy. Oh, he's going to go out and thinking the opposite of what everyone else is thinking. Because in my opinion, I don't know about y'all, but I think he was he did the best he could have done with what he had. He made the best decisions he could have had with what he had. He just didn't know how stupid his noble Philip would be. But, gosh, he really did the best he could. Was he a monster? Yeah, he probably, he was just looking for happiness. Yeah, yeah. End of the day.
Ya. Again, it wouldn't make a difference. However, he would be a pillar of hope. What? Whoa, what? Is Ayn's already coming in? Ah, uh, rebel. Rebellion? Rebellion now? Why would you rebel now? Oh, gosh. Why? We'll exchange your life for our own? You're going to take his head? Why? Apologies for that. If you hear my if you hear my dog in the background, I can't. <laughs> He's excited. I'm sorry guys. I have the resolve to fight to the end. Ooh This prince. Come. If you wanna take me, you gotta take me. Come on! He's going out. He's going out like a gangster. You know what? In my opinion, before this before this episode ends, before this episode ends and everything unfolds, in my opinion, with the interaction that we just had with Ainz himself, and uh, in my opinion, the little bit of respect that he's gained in regards to that prince specifically, if those if those rebellion people actually take the head of the prince and show it to Ainz. You know how pissed off I would be? You know how pissed off I would be if my if someone I met who I just res who I grown a, a respect for or at least an understanding for two people and then suddenly this random crook in the back comes and stabs him in the back and shows me their head and say, Hey boss, look, I got the kill for you. I did it for you. I would be pissed. I would be pissed. Alright, let's move on. If they do this, I want them to be... Okay, we, we should never ask for people to die. So I'm going to ask for them to be tortured by Nuranist. <laughs> they will be tortured, tortured by the cockroaches, tortured by Mare breaking their legs, tortured in all the... Oh, shoot, they actually did it. Holy moly. No, bro, why would you do that? Bury him with respect. Why would you do this, bro? Why? Why did you do this? You were all going to die with little to no pain. You could have even tried to escape. That might have been better. A reward. That's weird. I didn't expect Nance to give a reward for this. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put up with this. I wouldn't put up with this. These are all scum right here. All these people. Spare you and your families? Heinz, really? <laughs> oh! Is that the cockroach or is that the, 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 the really, the torturer lady? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay, yeah, it's the torture. <laughs> ah, that's what you get, mother truckers. That's what you get. Even if they beg for death, don't kill them quick. Oh my. I knew it. I knew it. I would feel a certain type of way too. I get it. I totally understand it. You give the battleground to Kokutis. And Mare. Holy, didn't Mare just... Wait, didn't Mare go to the... Go to the Jerkneve Kingdom and like just kill everyone through opening earthquakes or opening cracks in the floor and then immediately crushing them in the This is not <laughs> next episode is gonna be in freaking insane. But yeah, um let's just, just some ending thoughts I could think of. Um turns out he's just an adamantite adventurer, he's not a player. Um please let me know if the uncle that we saw that met with um that met with the adamantite adventures that we met um 
in season two and three, the girl with the mask, the big, the big woman and the two ninjas. If that uncle of, I think her name is Lakius, Rakius, if the uncle is the Gundam, let me know, please let me know, because they didn't really make it clear if that's him or if it's someone else. But I hear, but I heard drop of red appear. So I assume it's him, but it's if it's not, it's someone else. And please let me know. Um, and, and yeah, it's it's going to be a bloodbath without not any questions. It's going to be a bloodbath. Hopefully you'll join me for the next episode. I'll see you all then.